But as men, when we see those behaviors, when we when we experience those misogynistic behaviors, we need to call them out for what they are mm -hmm. and be part of the solution, right? Right. One of the things that I think makes it challenging for us as men to be these kinds of change agents mm -hmm. is that our voice shakes, right? The, the mythology is that I'm always supposed to be authoritative and confident and know what I'm doing. Well, shit, half the time I was challenging other men or asking questions, I was so scared my voice was shaking. That's being human. Yeah. And so let's, <laughs> let's give space for the fact that our voice shakes sometimes. So I, I know from personal experience that you can get away with porn consumption. Absolutely. And that, you know, that lack of accountability, not only am I not being accountable for my behavior, I'm completely undermine my accountability around the harm that that does. Even if my partner doesn't know it, yep. if I'm sneaking around, I'm doing damage to her. I'm doing damage to our relationship. Right. And I want to call myself out if I can, because I just said that I knew on a, on a personal level that I could get away with porn consumption. And that's actually not true. I didn't get away with anything. Like my wife, she was not aware of my porn consumption. So I got away with it in that sense. But like you're talking to, it negatively impacted me. It negatively impacted my mind. It negatively impacted our relationship, even though she didn't know about the porn consumption. So I didn't get what, get away with anything. Like there were negative consequences. <laughs> Just want to state that for the record. Thank you for clarifying. That's a good point. It's interesting that your parents had to educate on that version of sex, like the healthy version of sex, because it's such a basic concept, but it has like like you talk to pornography is misconstruing that it's sending messages that don't align with what your parents were teaching right absolutely and you know i think back in the day this is in the 70s and 80s in south texas as i mentioned right now i am in kentucky um yes we do have to keep educating and intentionally and actively educating about that because it's especially to men and boys because they're not getting the information anywhere else